What's good, Ray Gang, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Jess, and today we're going to get started on another weekly vlog. But not just any weekly vlog, baby. It's moving day. It's moving day. And I'm turned up, and I'm lit, and I'm excited. If you saw my last vlog, then you already got a sneak peek at the new place. Um, but yeah, we don't have much chit chat in the intro of this video. Um, but I will say this. Nine times out of ten, this is not your first video watching me. If it is, hey girl, hey boo, how you doing? But if it's not, and you have not hit that subscribe button, what are you doing? Join the gang, okay? We are a big family over here, and we would love to have you. But without further ado, baby, let's get into, oh my God, oh my God, not us leaving the first Houston apartment. Y'all, this is so sentimental to me. I cannot believe that we are here. I cannot believe all that we've achieved in the last year. Like, this is crazy. God is so good. He is so amazing. I owe everything that I have been blessed with to him. Okay, let me say that. Let, let, let me say that. <laughs> but anyway, I can't talk too much. The moving guys are downstairs. I'm about to go have my concierge open up the loading dock. And we're going to get started on this moving day. Okay, baby. I cannot believe this is probably one of the smoothest moving processes i actually ordered a task rabbit um she was so sweet she came and packed up all of these cabinets um which was very helpful um and then i have my other tasker my og tasker that y'all know like mounted everything he unmounted everything patched up the holes like what y'all this is, looks like a catastrophe, but a lot of this is going to my car. I'm going to take it down, and then they're going to move all the big stuff, the big furniture, the boxes, and whatnot. But, yeah, y'all. Oh, my God. Our time here has come to an end. Don't worry. We're going to still have a little bit more time at this place because I have to um, have um, – I'm going to hire cleaners because I just cannot be bothered to do anything these days, I swear. Um, <laughs> but they're going to come and clean this place and we'll have one final walkthrough before I hand the keys in. But woo, baby, it has been a journey. It has been a journey. God is so good. If you know, then you know, we locked in. If we locked in, ain't no switching up, period. <laughs> so y'all, um, welcome to my car right now, but I want to show y'all what I got and what has changed my life this move also. Because I've already made a couple trips on my own to just take some stuff to my new place. Let me show y'all. This is tea. And look. Are you kidding? I'm obsessed. It's so helpful. Just watch. We're going to make a trip. We're going to grab some stuff and bring it to my car. Um, and you're going to see how easy this is. From Amazon. I will link it. Don't you worry, babe. Oh, it's hot. Oh, God. Not y'all lean. Oh. Let's see if we can skinny up here. I really should move my car. But... Here we are. Come on. Hey, we all drag.
so y'all i um took my cart to the seventh floor i'm on the third floor so i'm gonna move my car to the seventh jesus i see why people say women don't know how to drive because sometimes when i'm watching certain women drive it gives me the creeps like babes you're good go she's trying to parallel or uh you know back in and it's like sis you got it you're good you got it you're okay anyway y'all so i'm moving my car up to the seventh floor um and then so <laughs> i'm working with the company i'm not saying what moving company i'm using i'm not because this specific moving company um i was actually i had inquired about you know collabing with them and I know the impact that my platform has, you know, when it comes to business awareness and stuff like that. This is not a local business, by the way, y'all. This is a nationwide business. Y'all can put two and two together, whatever. Um, and they were like, this beeping finna get on my nerves. They basically were like, we wanna work with you, da 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 da. We're gonna get back to you. Um, and then they didn't get back to me. Um, in my honest opinion it was on me i reached out to them very freaking late but um i believe my manager actually reached out to them via email one thing about it and my manager i love her don't i don't want y'all to misinterpret what i'm about to say she does her job as she should which is you know being professional via email but sometimes like self-pitching like just through the dm is a lot faster than these emails because think about it they're a business they they do their in like even though they should have different departments and they do but still like sometimes people get to their email late and like these are real people they're not it's not ai behind these emails so you know like it's it's subject to user error sometimes people overlook their emails sometimes the, the emails go straight to spam for whatever reason so i sometimes if i'm thirsty about a brand or a situation an opportunity i'm selfish and don't feel bad about it um and so anyway that's what i did uh maybe i should not back in so that's what i did with this company and um they responded literally the same day like love that for me but babes i have not heard from them so i was kind of sorry about that and so even though um this rolls royce truck is so nice even though i'm like you know not pressed it would have been nice to get this done for free <laughs> and like help them for brand awareness but um yeah so i would not be sharing the name and i know that's petty but like yeah they kept me a check if you want to be included in two hour weekly vlogs baby i mean y'all see the stats the scoreboard be for real anyway we're on the seventh floor so let me go get my wagon my wagon and i feel like i'm gonna set y'all here cut the car off y'all will see me loaded this bad boy yet yeah. but when i tell y'all this wagon situation is it a wagon yeah wagon right this situation has changed my life like <laughs> i don't know what i was doing before but it wasn't this clearly Well, that was easy and I only took up one corner of the car. <laughs> Let's go get some more stuff. Do y'all want anything from Starbucks? Yeah, I'm going across the street.
Y'all, look at how easy this is. And that's it. And you can make it even smaller if you take the wheels off, but I'm about to use it again, so that's pointless. So, I went and got the drinks. I asked them if they wanted anything. They're going to tell me waters. One dude was like, I don't even like Starbucks for real. I said, oh! <laughs> so, I got a breakfast sandwich and then a coffee and then some waters. Mm. <laughs> this is slapping right now. I'm so hungry. I have not eaten. It's 11.15. Yeah. Yesterday, I had the task come, tasker come over. I was packing up stuff. You know, while she was working on my kitchen, I was working on my bedroom, my, my bathroom. Um, I made a couple trips to the new apartment. And y'all, I had not eaten all day. I made two bao buns from Trader Joe's that I had in the freezer. Two of them. And that was it. So last night, you know what I got? After I had a long day, a fat ass pizza from Mod's Pizza. And ate the whole thing. Embarrassing. It'd be like that. Like, girl, I'm just a girl. You know? I'm just a girl. All right, let me get in here, give them their drinks, and then I'm gonna go get some more bags, some more stuff. And I know y'all probably like, really why don't you just have them take everything a i'm paying them hourly and honestly i want i wanted this to get done in two it's giving it's going to be three i don't want any more than three hours it's expensive for one for two there's just some stuff that's more um fragile intimate whatever that i would just rather place exactly you know like i don't want to box it up it's a one-off i'm gonna just handle it like this big ass jock and moose bag like i'm not putting that in a box it's, it would be the only thing in that box. All right, let me get inside. And y'all will see me at my last drop off. And then we're going to the new place, I think. <laughs> yeah. All right, girls. We got our stuff. We on the way. We packed in. We on the way. So I let them know that I was going to make a drop off at the new place right now. Mm. And they're like, yeah, that's fine, because they still have to um, put my couch up, wrap it up, the big lamp, the rug, and take apart my bed and transport that stuff. So, and my, my bedside tables um, and the mirror. They got some time. It's given I'm about to spend $800 for this, but at this point, I just want it done. Like, I just want it done. I just want it done. I estimate so this took three trips to put pack in so we'll take three trips when we get over there to unload but the good thing is unlike what they're about to do for me they're gonna help but um when I make my way over there as I drop off I put stuff away I don't leave it out and then we'll you know put everything no 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 mm -mm. the way that my anxiety starts to eat me up when I know I have a big task to accomplish like I will put it off I'll put it off I'll put it off baby it'll be January 2024 and then we just now putting stuff away from the move we're not doing that I'm sorry we're not doing that so um really the thing that I'm happy about is majority of the stuff that they have are big items so my bar stools my couch my bed like things that when they drop it off they're going to put it in the location that it belongs so i don't have to unpack that stuff the stuff that's packed up that is only going to be i could say a little bit of a a, a task or a journey will be the kitchen stuff the girl that packed up the kitchen stuff i rehired her for two tomorrow to come unpack it <laughs> since you packed it up you're unpacking it and i'm not playing about that <laughs> um so yeah we locked in that's my girl. I'm gonna hire her for organization too, just on some like help me put my closet together type stuff. But that'll be, you know, a month down the line or something like that. But for now, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like refreshed. It's still not even noon. Um, 
I really want to be done with everything for the day by like four. I really want to go to the gym and then wash my hair and then we have a lash appointment at seven. So yeah, that's that's my tea for today. Let's see if we can accomplish this. We will see. I, I'm I I don't know. Hell, I might have enough energy tomorrow that I don't even want to do the uh, freaking or that I don't even have her come unpack the kitchen. Maybe I'll do it myself. I don't know. Anyway, enough ranting. Let's get gone to the place. Okay. All right. Can y'all tell it's giving crackhead energy? It's this coffee. It's this coffee. And, like, it's excitement, too. Um, I am kind of nervous, y'all. Let me put y'all on my car mount. The hell trying to drive in vlog. Like, that's so hazardous. Like, y'all, please do not be like me. Lord have mercy. this is good y'all like I feel like this is good this is good spacing so here I'm I have not got it yet I really want to get that damn Samsung frame TV but um this has to be like at least an 80 inch this wall is too massive for me because I mean look at how like there's so much room um I have to have like 80 inch have to yeah this is probably probably needs to get moved over this damn rug is so freaking dirty, y'all. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, but it's fine. <laughs> um, uh, I'm trying to think. Like, I like where it's at in the sense of, like, front or back. But I want to put it, I think, a little bit more this way. Oh, this is perfect. Like, I'm really happy. I thought my couch was good. At first, I was like, oh, I have so much space. And then when I finally got my keys, I was like, I think the couch is going to be too big. But, y'all, that just goes to show you how small my last place was in comparison to this place. I'm not complaining. My last place was beautiful. It was a great size. It was a great starter home. But this place, <laughs> I've had this couch since I was in PA school. And you know what year that was that I started PA school? I think it was summer of 2018, no, sorry, summer of 2017. It's 2023, babe, six years, and this cat is still going. I will probably swap her out just because of the aesthetic, but I don't really mind, I don't mind her. Um, my friend Keisha, <laughs> she has a vendetta against gray couches, she says. Um, but I don't know, I love my gray couch, like, it's like a, a gray mocha, so it's not gray like the traditional college gray. That's my little interpretation. I don't know. I love my couch. I get questions out all the time. Um, I got it out of American Freight, y'all. My dad bought it for me, and it was like $400 or $500. And it's a great couch. And everybody that comes into my house sleeps on that damn couch. Now I'll have a guest room, but once upon a time. And they love it. They love it. I love shit. I'll be taking naps on this bitch all the time. Damn. No, I think the rug needs to be over this way a little bit. Because the couch, the rug is supposed to be bigger than the couch, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. So she needs to be moved over a little bit. Uh, I'm irritated because they would put the outlet right smack dab in the middle of the wall knowing damn well people need a little bit it's fine it's really not that deep but yeah i need to move this There we go. This is 
as I was, yeah. So you always need the corner, you know, the edge of the rug to be a little bit past the couch. So I feel good with this. I feel, I feel good with that. Oh my God, it's coming together. It's coming together. I really initially wanted my couch to be like this way. Oh, not sure about to fall off the dang counter. Oh no, you're good. I wanted my couch initially to be this way and then have two accent chairs. I do, however, think now that I'm looking at it, the bar stools, which are literally right here, and two chairs in front of them, that's a little too, it's just busy. So what I think I'm gonna, also, the wall for the TV is right here, and I wanna keep it that way. So I just feel like from a practicality standpoint, it's still open and inviting. I think what I wanna do is put one accent chair right here. Maybe. While this is a priority, it does not need to be my first priority. Because the good thing is I did have furniture for my last home. Um, it will take some time to fill up all three bedrooms. Um, but we have things to start with, so we're okay. Um, for now, I have them actually setting up my current bed in the guest room. Because I want to get a new bed for my room. I want to just do my bedroom just like over and like... It's going to be cute. So, yeah. But anyway, I'm really happy so far. I'm really freaking happy with my space. I think it's perfect. I honestly think I might keep this couch for one more house and then get a new couch of my next place. I think I might change out the rug, if anything. Um, but I, like I said, I'm in no rush. It just fits. It fits the space. Like, look at the color palette of the... It's, it's a very neutral based home. I just feel like it's giving, you know? It's very cozy. It's very cozy. Like, one thing about me, I wanna make my house a home. Also, my next dilemma, cause I know this is coming. They're the big mirror, okay? I have two of them. I have the black one and I have the silver one. The silver one, or the one that's like a mirror with a silver frame versus the one that's a mirror with a black frame. Um, I'm going to buy at least one more um, full body mirror for this place since I have a, lar a larger space now. But with the two that I have, I think I'm going to put, I don't know, y'all. Should I put the silver one here or should I put the black one here? Originally, I wanted to put a mirror here in this corner, but I feel like while it will open up the space because a lot of light will reflect off of it i feel like it's a goofy place to put it because i have the rest of this couch that's not even here yet um to go right here and it's giving baby ain't nobody finna be standing this close to the mirror to take a pic like that's just tacky um so i feel like the most practical place would either be putting it right here along the side of the tv which i'm not really the biggest fan of that right here in this corner by a mirror. Pretty nice location um, and will keep the pet space open. Maybe I will do it here, I'm not sure. And then the last place is here, which I think is gonna eat for like the, night, the nighttime fits. I have the mirror above right here, or the mirror, the light above right here um, to light it up. I don't know. So those are the three areas, either here, that corner, I don't think I'm gonna do here. I think it's too busy doing it right here. Um, and then I also thought about this slab, but I just think that that's also too busy because it's like, you gotta stand right here to be in the, it's just, it's a lot. So I'm gonna have them first put it in that corner. And if I don't like it, then I'm gonna put it there. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, y'all, so they just dropped up some more stuff. All of this is kitchen stuff pretty much. So I haven't decided if I'm gonna do it, if I'm gonna let homegirl do it, we gonna have to figure that out. All this is about to go into my filming room. Um, yeah, but I just had a revelation. So y'all know the circle mirror that was in my entryway table of my last place. I think that this is perfect for it going right here because 
although I feel like yeah you have the outlet here for something here I just feel like it's too tight it's cramped like this is gonna give right here this is gonna eat so I'm thinking we'll see if that table though is small enough to fit here because I don't want it to be occluding my walkway here to my room but isn't this just like the perfect nook like for the mirror and just like yeah this is gonna give right here so i probably will have them just put them the big mirror here in this corner and i think selfies will eat like mirror pictures will eat because the lighting the lighting you see what i'm saying even if i back up like oh it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so good and i don't think it'll be too bad because i really do not want my um like tv console system to be too big can i can you guys move forward a little bit there's so much space in this town oh sorry i meant this way yeah okay. yeah that's good and then that is so gross but it's because i sit on right there the most and i step right there the most so move that on the, the carpet more A little bit more in, yeah. So the to be, there you go. And then I guess, okay. I forgot it's an L shade. Yeah, that was I don't know why I, I'm blanking out on how my couch it is. I guess we'll have to see when I put it down. Because I don't want to block the door. Um, do you see how those things, that silver thing, they slide into each other? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, so it is. Oh, the other side goes into it. Oh, yeah, bug that too, uh, unfortunately. My dad did it because we weren't ready to give up this couch. I didn't think this couch would last this long, honestly. We got some, you guys know American Freight. They're like, I mean, they put it all in the car room. Yeah, and so I got it when I was in school like six years ago. And I thought by now I would change my couch. But I like this couch. And it, it hasn't really broken, you know. The one little base area, it's like not that noticeable. So that's why I'm just hold, holding on to it until it takes out. Yeah. You say you really wanna see it. You only two miles away. All I see is face I'm ringing. Yet you don't got time today. That's okay. We don't have to talk about it. No, we don't have to talk about it. You say we in it for the long haul I didn't even get to you haul I didn't even get that far We didn't even get that far But we don't have to talk about it No, no we don't have to talk about it and just relax and just sit on my couch. But like, enough is enough, sweetheart. I need to be in the bed. As you see, the bed is naked, y'all. And it's because after that long move yesterday, I just, I'm not there on my couch. And I was like, I'm gonna get to the bed when I get to it. As of right now, we are still with the other bed, the other bed, the only bed that I have, which is going to be in the guest room for now. Um, and my, the master room is empty because I don't have another bed yet, 
but when I get that bed, we will spruce up that bed in that room. But for now, let's get this bed in this room. Let's get the vibes together, okay? Before I made this move, I trialed out some new sheets that I'm obsessed with. They're actually currently finishing up in the dryer right now. And they are from Brooklyn and girl. I already know. Y'all, the girls probably already know about Brooklyn and if you don't know, Brooklyn and is a luxury sheets company. They specialize in creating a very high quality, luxurious home goods to elevate your space. So today we're going to get into elevating this bed, okay girl, because I'm exhausted and I need a good night's sleep tonight. <laughs> Sheets are so buttery soft. I love it. Um, it's actually made of sateen. Apparently sateen is like more tightly woven. So it makes it like the perfect material for all your um, wear. And it just makes it a lot more soft. Yo, I like my bed to feel like a hotel bed. <laughs> so I'm trying to pack it in tight. I got the sheet set as a bundle which I think is so much better than just ordering these pieces individually because you save over 25% when you bundle. This is actually the Lux Hardcore Bundle. You get the core bed sheets, you get extra pillowcases and a duvet cover all in one. Like that's a steal. Now for the hardest part. The duvet. So I ordered my entire bundle in white. The good thing is Brooklyn has over 20 plus shades and patterns of, you know, the bed sheet selections and you can even mix and match within your own bundle. So don't think you have to be like me and stick with the white. I just, there's something about a clean, white, crisp, it just gives hotel, you know. Oh my gosh. I swear, making your bed is like a sport. <laughs> So as you guys can see, my bed is all nice and cozy and comforting and ready for me to get in the bed and wind down for tonight. And that is all thanks to Brooklinen. Thank you Brooklinen for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in getting your hands on these sheets or any other Brooklinen items, they are currently having their end of season warehouse sale that is up to 65% off items across the entire website that's ranging from bed sheets to robes, to blankets, etc. And you can also use my code, the Desiree Way, to save $20 off orders over $100. Everything will be left in the description box below, including the links and the specific items that I used today from Brooklyn. So yeah, y'all, I am about to get in the bed. My eyes are so heavy. This bed is called my name. It's so comfy, it's so cozy.
morning. <laughs> um, so I already got up, as you guys saw, I started unpacking some stuff. Um, some maintenance came and like did a few things around the place. And yeah, I'm dressed. Y'all, this blue lemon fanny pack, I forgot how much I love her. She's just so convenient. Um, especially when you're like busy, like I have been the last 72 hours. So yeah, um, but this is my get up. The set is from Abercrombie. I will link it down below. Don't you worry, girl. I have these cute little Dior studs in. I love them. Do not look at my hair. It is so crusty. I need to shut like, not shower because I did shower this morning, but I need to wash my hair. Um, especially because I want to take some content tomorrow. And then I have on the Nike Metcons. I hate that I wear these as just like regular everyday shoes uh, because I'm supposed to just be training in them, but they're so comfortable. So I definitely need to buy a second pair of Nike if you're watching. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, but anyway, this is my get up. I already have my coffee, some egg bites for breakfast. I'm about to head to the old place and pack up the rest of the stuff. And then we have cleaners coming at three over there to clean up that space because quite frankly, baby, one thing about me, I'm gonna pay for convenience every time. Okay? All right, cool. <laughs> That's such a good song. Hey y'all. So, as y'all can see, the car is stacked, jam packed. Um, we are about to make, dang, I wish I would have gotten that. Um, we're about to make another trip. <laughs> it's actually the first one. I went and, and um, bagged up my entire closet, so that's done. I just have to transport it over there. So that'll be one trip in itself, because obviously I have a lot of stuff that's being that's hung i took out the trash i had so much trash like five six seven bags of trash cleaned out the fridge ran my last load of laundry and yeah pretty much did everything that i really needed to do and i'm happy about it not people still coming when it's a red light like what babes these folks and not the the wagon smacking my shit sorry i have no choice <sighs> they honking and shit like i said in houston you gotta be authoritative on the road anyway yeah i did everything i needed to do so i have um it is 3 50 right now the cleaners, my move out cleaners, are going to be at my place. They set up 4.30. So, they will pull up. I left the front door unlocked for them. Um, so, when they call me, oh, can you, or is it okay if we can let her up? I, I'm going to say yes, as if I'm there when really I'm gone. This wagon finna smack my ass. Anyway, so yeah. Um, and then she can start cleaning everything. So when we get back, we have... Uh, so we're gonna make... This is three, three trips, which is annoying, but it's fine. So three trips. And then after that, we are going to come back. And it sucks. This is like a rush hour. Um, time of the day but you know I gotta do what I gotta do um because today's the last day that I have my key like I gotta turn my keys in by 11 59 tonight so yeah sorry y'all I'm really just ranting right now I have coffee brain like I'm so hungry uh I ate my egg bites which were so heavenly I forgot how good the egg bites from Starbucks are oof I had like the bacon gouda ones too or whatever they are. The, the cheese, I, I think it's good. It's very rich. Mm. I can just taste it right now. But I'm starving. I'm, I'm starving, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm famished. So, I'm thinking once I make this trip, I will warm a meal prep and eat it on the way back. Because I'm going to be in a little bit of traffic either way it goes. So, I'll do that. And then... Um, when we come back, I'm debating, do I, 
I think I can do both. No, I can't. Um, I was gonna load my car with the next load to go back and then save Goodwill for last, but I'm thinking I just run because I have three bags of clothes that I initially wanted to like sell to like a Play-Doh's closet or something. That's what, please, just give these clothes away for free, okay? So, not all of them, okay? Like, not my designer stuff or whatever, but like, you know, just some clothes that I've, I've had for a minute um, or that are just like, they don't fit or whatever the case. So, I am taking three bags to Goodwill um, and then... I will stop back at my place and pick up the last load of stuff um, and then drop that off and then uh, the very final back and forth will be um, getting the closet stuff which by then I will have my entire trunk my back seat and my front seat for all the bags. I know it'll fit because when I ship my car down to Houston, y'all are just looking at a black screen. I hate that for y'all. But when I ship my stuff, this traffic is really bad. This is making me not want to come back, but I have no choice. Um, when I ship my stuff to Houston, uh, my car, I had put all of the, like the trash bag clothes or whatever. Um, in my car and at that time that was before I did a closet clean out so I had way more and it all fit between my trunk my back seat and my front seat so we're gonna do that again and make our way over to the new spot that'll be our last run before I do that I will hand in my keys get any packages I might have whatever and then that'll be our last stop so we have a total of three stops between here and there so movers or sorry cleaners will be there at 4 30 they can already start without me so that's nice i left the door unlocked i have two people coming tonight i have the guy that mounted my stuff and and unmounted it he's gonna come over later on tonight to mount my two tvs and hang the mirror uh, the big circle mirror. The homegirl that that packed up my whole kitchen. I don't. I think I told y'all that. She did that shit so fast. Like I think it was a total of like three out, three and a half hours. She packed up my whole entire kitchen, all the drawers. Mind you, if you are familiar, if you've been here for a while, you know my kitchen is not just. Uh, that noise is annoying. I'm sorry, y'all. My kitchen is not just. Um, plates cups kitchen stuff like no like my whole island is like office stuff and like appliances and, and she packed up everything like quick because she packed it up I was like do you want to unpack <laughs> y'all saw me unpacking some stuff this morning which I'm happy I did but um she's gonna still help me out and unpack the rest just you know to have another thing to take off of my plate while I'm making these last few runs. And then my goal is to have everything transported and put away besides the two boxes that I packed because they're both miscellaneous items and I am not sifting through that stuff tonight. Like, I do not have the, the brain power or the mental capacity to do that. So yeah, it'll just be, I don't know why it's so dark, y'all. Like, I'm, uh, please, please. Like, that's my tea um, I'm gonna put everything else away though I'm happy like I got my my basket with like my blankets um, all I have left as far as laundry goes okay is one um, load of darks in the dryer so everything's already washed and everything I just have to fold the laundry so yeah I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good I'm happy about it uh, the thing that I do like for anybody that like wants like moving advice like <laughs> probably nobody but I'm gonna give you some anyway because I have to drive and we have time uh, for one the wagon period and this discussion it will be linked down below the wagon eight miss wagon eight on this on this whole move mind y'all today is Tuesday I started moving my stuff on Sunday for it only being a th like three days yeah like and me myself and I no friends no family no help besides the movers yeah like did that and did the wagon help though the wagon helped for sure 
Uh, and y'all are probably wondering, why didn't you have anybody help you? For one, if I'm being fully transparent, people always love to be like, oh yeah, I'll help, oh yeah, I'll be there, oh yeah. Girl, then you get to ask them, then it's this story, this, th so you know what, I just said it as well, just do the shit yourself. Do it yourself, don't ask nobody for help, because nine times out of 10, go. Nine times out of ten, they're going to give you a bullshit excuse anyway. Or, you know, it's it's going to be a situation where... I don't know. I don't know. I just... I, I, I also do, I will say, being the firstborn uh, daughter of a Nigerian household, I do not like asking people for help. I just don't. I really do feel like I can do everything myself, even though I know that that's bad. Um, and that's just a trauma response. Yes, I am aware. Um, it's just my reality. I also do like even having the tasker come pack up on my like the whole kitchen. I was like, Ugh, like the sound of it was cringy because I'm just such a control freak when it comes to like how I want my stuff organized and packed and this and that. But I said it as well. You're gonna drive yourself nuts if you don't let somebody else help you. And so you know, baby steps, y'all. Baby steps. I have been here for a year now I have made friends but I just like it's more so like acquaintance friendships like I don't I don't like to just say oh because I've met somebody or oh because I party with them or you know we were at the same function together that like now they're my friend y'all this this because people don't know how to drive in this damn city damn this shit almost just busted through the front window I hate this for me. There we go. Anyway. <laughs> so, there's all of that tea. Yes, absolutely, it would be ideal if I had more than one car and more than one wagon, more than one person to help me with this little petty stuff. But, girl, it's going to get done. It's going to get done. Like, that, that one thing about me, I'm going to do it. I'm going to get it done. I'm just talking at this point. Oh, Lord. Also, if there's somebody in this world that deserves their flowers more than anybody, it's my manager. <laughs> Becca, if we like this, ain't no switching. Like, when I tell y'all, mark my words, when I'm being invited to events, when I am you know, getting my little magazine editorial, like, and yeah, y'all probably like, bitch, you're delusional. You would never be a Jackie Aina. You would never be a Leah Space. You would never be a Monet McMichael. You could, like, girl, that's fine. Because guess what? All those people had to be a bit delusional. A bit delusional, love, before they became who they became. A life of delusion, what have I said before? A life of delusion is the life for me. Everybody who has been successful has had to be a bit delusional. Period. Like, yes, big goals. And what about it? Major goals, matter of fact. So anyway, back to the story. When I'm, you know, getting invited to these events and I'm getting these little collabs. Sorry, big collabs. Okay, let's speak life into it. <clears throat> I'm right with her till the wheels fall off. Okay to the wheels fell off because the way that this girl this woman excuse me but she she know what I mean when I say this girl like that is my home girl like I'd be like Becca like I want to work with this brand so pitch me <laughs> and she'd be like girl say less and like we've even had the conversation before like because I'll, I'll straight tell her like I know this sounds so far-fetched but like I see myself being this ambassador for this brand or I see myself working with this brand and she'll be like girl and what about it it's it, it does not hurt to try she was like and and so anyway I love her but Miss Becca got your girl a deal that yeah yeah like it's very on brand it's very much what I need what I want who I wanted to work with 
and I'm just so just like happy like and I'm so proud of myself I'm so proud of her um, I'm just so proud of what we're building here the thing is I didn't realize okay so I had a sponsorship in my last video right and that that video right now is currently performing really boo boo so if you're seeing this if you're watching this please go click i will leave a card on the screen hopefully i remember but it's the vlog before this one i think it was the nigerian wedding whatever it's just performing bad like and that's like there's sometimes there's nothing you can do like some days there just are gonna be videos that flop because sometimes the algorithm has it out to get you because you're eating like and i've been eating okay uh, it's, if nobody else gonna say, I'm gonna say. Like my stats, check the stats, okay? My team's winning, and um, I understand. I understand because of y'all. Like we're really doing this YouTube stuff. So anyway, uh, my video flopped, and I was just kind of like frustrated about it. But then when I was talking to Becca and I was thinking about it, I said, Hold on, Des, you're not giving yourself enough credit, baby. Speak life into yourself. You've been doing this and you've been trying and you've had a move and you've had traveling and you've had so many life events and you keep pushing out content. God forbid one video flops to that. So like, be for real. You have 16K subscribers. You have been doing your thing. You are climbing slowly but surely. Just stay dedicated. And right now, I'm really just talking. I'm just speaking life into myself because sometimes I really do get in my own head about shit okay what are you doing i really get in my head about shit because i just feel like damn like i feel like i'm putting an effort sometimes but then i don't feel like i get the flowers that i you know quote unquote feel as though i deserve but then i'm like that's well hold on like you're just you're a newbie relax it'll come not everybody's gonna be an overnight sensation and that's okay it's okay i know my time will come um, it is coming I just have to stay you know locked into the code so here I am anyway I hope y'all enjoyed my uh, what is it 20 minute rant um, moral of the story bet on yourself moral of the story stay focused moral of the story there is no reward without hard work um, it will come okay okay you're fine my love you're fine I will see y'all later cuz I'm hungry y'all starting so we just pulled up at the goodwill and we're gonna take all of this stuff in there I have one two three and donate it I love donating and it just makes me happy. So, oh, donation center around the corner. Shoot. Okay, hold on. Let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. They pointed to the side. Yay, donation drive through. Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hi. Um, this is where I go to donate, correct? Yes, you're in the right place. Okay. Um, do I need to get out? You don't have to. I can get some stuff. To you. No, I can help you. I just didn't know what you guys' policy was. Um, <laughs> go ahead. Okay. Let me get out. Donating clothes. Have a good day. Oh, 
almost forgot to get my receipt. I'm so glad he said something. He was kind of strange. He was like, yeah, make sure you look at the list of things you can and cannot donate. Like, uh, babe. <laughs> okay. And he's like, yeah, well, you know, because people think that you can, like, donate, like, gasoline and, like, uh, broken car or broken bikes parts and stuff. I said, huh? Like, babes, you have to tell me all that now. Just take, just take these clothes. Get them a fake. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, shoot. I forgot I had these Air Forces. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. These beat up old crusty dusty. Um, okay, they're not crusty dusty. Let me show y'all them. Let me back up. I know he finna cut up here in a second. mean like I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt like maybe he just on his P's and Q's no he's mean because he's seen me because apparently when you pull up to the Goodwill drop off it like there's a bell that goes off to notify them like hey somebody's here and so when I reversed it, the bell started going off and when he saw it was me he started shaking his head he didn't know that I could see him though and then he saw I was getting I think he thinks so let me show y'all this was in the front seat in front of the bags and this has wheels do y'all see the wheels down there i don't know if y'all can see it i don't know if that's what made him say the thing about the uh bike parts but i was like oh this is a i don't know if y'all can hear me i i if i got it on like the audio i will leave it in um when i edit but i was like oh no babe that's a um what's it called a wagon and he's like Oh, well, I was just like, yeah, you thought you ate and you sound stupid. But, um, yeah, like, sir, don't be mean. I'm over here trying to do my due diligence, you know, drop off my little donation or whatever. And you over here, I don't know if he's stereotyping or what, but I didn't like that. Anyway, we on have, we have only one more. So we're gonna go drop off. I'm gonna go let my contractor guy in to mount my stuff. My skin looks good right now, but it's greasy, Lord. I can't wait to wash my face, but I'm gonna let him in and then um, I have one more and it's um, clothes, it's clothes. I took like a fourth of them. Um, they're in the trunk. So once I do this drop off, I will do I have to go back to the place. The cleaner's finished, um, so that's good. And then um, I just handed my keys. All right, I'm going to see y'all later tonight because really between now and when I go back to drop off my keys, there's nothing much to show, so. Y'all. Oh. My gosh. Like, this is such a nostalgic feeling whoa i just got super like i wanted to cry or something <laughs> this is so emotional the very first place that i moved in houston texas and this just has like this whole place just has a special place in my heart i started my life here i moved away from all my friends and family here i had a lot of firsts here started taking youtube serious here started the two hour weekly vlogs here <laughs> Oh my gosh. I cannot believe life. If you would have told me one year ago that I would be sitting here moving from a one bedroom to a three bedroom. 
I would have said shit me. I just, God is so good, y'all. God is so amazing. See, I don't know about y'all, but my biggest flex is that God never took his hand off of me, ever. Ooh, I have chills just thinking about, oh my gosh, just everything, like, how excited I was, but how scared I was to be moving out here. Um, you know, leaving my, at the time, partner, just moving out here on a whim, because why not? And the way that God has just continued to bless me, he called me here for a reason, and I feel like I'm slowly starting to figure it out, but let's just take one last tour together. <laughs> OMG. By the way, I hired a move, uh, cleaner. I think she's going to start cleaning my new place. Um, she did a move out clean for me. And when I tell y'all this place is spotless, spotless, honey. All right, I just want to make sure nothing's left in here. just so crazy there's a table here and just wow wow this is so sad <laughs> oh this is so sad but it's so exciting at the same time wow Completely empty. Completely empty. <laughs> wow. I'm just shook. I'm at a loss for words right now. And the last thing, bedroom. Wow. Everything is gone. Oh, why do I have chills? Best part. Man. I'm going to miss that view. Whoo. These are happy tears. These are happy tears. I'm just so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. And I'm just so in awe with the way that the Lord has just continued to bless me day in and day out. Dear Lord, thank you so much for all the blessings that you bestowed upon me. I pray that you continue to 
guide me in the right direction. Pray that you continue to give me the discernment to know what is for me and know what's not for me. Dear God, I pray that we continue to reach bigger and better heights. I pray that all these things become attainable in Jesus' name. Amen. <sighs> wow. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Ooh, this is so cringy, y'all. I really am just very emotional. I just cannot believe that this is my life. I cannot believe that things have just switched and changed and like it's me it's me and it's God and it's me and God and that's it it's just me and God and we have just been moving and grooving and I just cannot believe I cannot believe all right, enough of the tears. We are happy. Let me go sign my move out papers. And I will see y'all in the morning. Good morning. How are you? Y'all, it has been an eventful an emotional last 72 hours okay but in Jesus name we made it mama we made it it's Wednesday September 13th and we started moving all of my stuff like just are alone <laughs> no help um, on Sunday and we are officially all moved in and all out of the other apartment as of last night, which was Tuesday. Three days, y'all. And I have a lot of stuff. And it's really embarrassing. And I need to consolidate because, like, Adesua, you are not using all of this stuff. I already did a pur a closet purge, but I think I need to do one more and really sit there and, like, I, I evaluated the first time. But I think this time I need to, like, put clothes on. And like really be like okay do you even still have this style do you even still reach for this do you you know like that's what I need to do um, but oh my god this camera is tweaking y'all like I'm sorry I might just start vlogging with the Canon G7X I only use that one for pictures as of right now and then if I'm out and like I you know have a moment that I want to vlog and I don't have my other camera because it's just a lot bringing two cameras like be for real um then I will also vlog on the Canon G7X but like yeah it's starting to give Sony what's what's T sis I've been a Sony stan since I first started creating content y'all my first ever camera was the Sony A5100 I still have that John to today it's just not as like quality up to quality um there's no 4k on that camera but you don't necessarily need to film in 4k i think it's a great starter camera pro tip if you're trying to get on your you know youtube start your youtube journey start your creator journey whatever all you really need is an iphone if i'm being fully transparent but for the people that have an android or for the people that want to up their quality from an iphone um the sony a5100 is a great cost efficient camera to start off with if cost is not does not matter baby get you the sony zv1 it's probably the best vlogging camera i've experienced thus far um the canon g7x is also a really good camera canon g7x by the way because there's a mark one a mark two a mark three um i have the mark two and i'm obsessed with the quality she is t she is t she's good and what are you doing Ugh. Get these old people off the road. <laughs> Get them off. <laughs> but um, yeah, that was a very unnecessary rant. Anyway, just want to put the girlies on. So yeah, like I, I'm just to the point where I'm like, that's what. Why do you have this much stuff? 
it's starting to really piss me off like be for real so um yeah i'm i i'm we are we are really going to purge um and what better time to do it than moving into a new space so what i think i'm gonna do for the next like week or two is just take my time even if it's after work just take my time and just go room to room and really just purge everything that i feel like is just like unnecessary i don't need whatever really i'm proud of myself because the most stuff that i had was the kitchen and i feel like I don't know what do y'all think i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory just because you have appliances and plates and cups and pots and pans and then you have food um you know canned goods and stuff like that surprisingly all like i would say 70 65 percent 70 percent of the boxes and tubs was all kitchen stuff the rest was my closet and um you know my actual big furniture so <clears throat> The good thing is I don't really feel like I'm going to have to purge too much because like I just said, like majority of the stuff was the kitchen stuff, but my filming room slash beauty room, um, <laughs> I'm going to show y'all that closet later. Your, your jaw is going to drop. That closet is my storage closet, like period. And the story it is going to be the storage closet. And I'm so blessed that I have a storage closet. Like, wow, look at God. Um, because baby, I don't know what I was before yeah no i do know what i was doing i was leaving it out in the open because i had nowhere else to put it so now i can have a functional space but um i really need to consolidate that closet even so even more so it's organized because i do still want to utilize it um at times when i need stuff for filming i want all my my filming equipment to be in there you know so there's that I'm just like over the moon ecstatic y'all um the move was just it was so successful and yes I did have to spend some coinage but nothing in this world comes for free be for real that's what like nothing in this world comes for free and nothing good comes for free like I could have had you know a guy friend and his friend come and try like baby I needed some professionals. I needed people that knew what they were doing that were going to be able to maximize the time and like even with those pro the professional movers maximizing the time, baby, it was it still took forever like so anyway. Here we are. Y'all. I am on 610 right now. If you're from Houston, then you know babes the distance between my old place and my new place is about give or take maybe three and a half miles four miles I, it's not it's not a long distance why did it just take me 35 minutes to go from my, my new my new exit to i'm about to approach my old exit that is so shameful Houston, you should be ashamed of yourselves. It should never be this much traffic, but back there, there was a guy, I don't know, his car broke down because I, I only saw one car um, and, and the police, uh, so his car must have broken down. Um, but then there's traffic in front of me. Look, God knew not to have me uh, scheduled for work today because, baby, I would have been late. More than late. Um... Actually, I'm lying because I would have been going that way. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I'm I'm coming into the city. Um, for reference, like deep deeper into the city, and so, um, yeah. The closer you, <laughs> the more you go this way, baby. Just know rush hour traffic, and it's crazy because I'm so used to at this time coming out to head north. I work up north. Um, north super north uh, Houston so it's interesting to see because now I understand so normally wow everything just came full circle so normally I'm on that side of the divider and yeah we might have a little bit of traffic here and there but the, it's moving it's moving right I always 
when I pay attention, I always see this side is like bumper to bumper. And now I'm in this side, bumper to bumper. Like now I understand. Y'all, student loan repayments. Oh my God, oh my God. My dad just texted me because um, he got something mailed for me to the house about student loans. Y'all, like this is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is real life stuff at this point. I am Stressiana, okay? And I'm Pressica. I'm Pressica because don't bully me. Baby, I work hard to get to where I am. And now, because I I make a certain amount of money, y'all want to bully up on me and make me have to repay a certain, like, ooh, be easy. Be easy, U.S. government. Be easy on me. This is, this is a hard life to be living right now. And I'm really stressed out. Um, I'm just talking. <laughs> but my battery's about to die. Good thing I bought another one. <laughs> anyway, we have some errands to run today. <clears throat> We're heading to Target first. I have to return this bug spray because I didn't realize I already had one. And these drawings be costing like $10. Not bug spray is $10. Like, whoa. What's going on? The rapture is coming. Golly. So, I need a bath mat and soap. Those two things. See, this is why I can't come up in here because they have such cute sets right now. They have all the fall stuff out. I kind of want a kitchen runner. I don't know if I'm just saying it because I'm just, I'm here now. But you know what? We're going to do that later. That's not probably what's one. super cute. I just don't feel like it's gonna be that absorbent. Now let's go get soap. We don't really need miscellaneous things right now, Odessa, as I'm still going to look. <laughs> How cute. White pumpkins, it's fall. Like, ooh. I'm not gonna show you all that because that just triggered my uh, trypophobia. Actually, I am. I do want some new artwork though. If this is $25, I'm getting it. This is how that looks. I like this a lot. Y'all, I feel like they would go so pretty above. Like, imagine my old bedroom. Above the bed. Eighty dollars, like a dust up. Spend too much damn money. Didn't want to, but I have to. Oh my God, a dust I literally just spilled my coffee. Oh, I'm no so sorry. I got it. Uh, Let me grab some. Okay. I'm trying to take a cute photo for Instagram. Go ahead, it's okay. I'll call some. So I feel so bad. No um, do you have any? I just I got some of my shoes too. Do you have any paper towels or not? I'm sorry once again. No worries. <laughs> dumb. Just dumb. So what I wanted to show y'all was look what I found. I have been trying to get my hands on any of the Saltaire body washes, body oils, and like, yeah, I could have ordered it online, but it's like, I want to come in person and smell them, and I finally found them at Target. So I got the Santal Bloom. It smells so good, y'all. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is good. And then this one, the Exotic Pulp. This smells like juicy mango. It's so good. I was only supposed to get one, I got two. I'm about to go broke, y'all. 
I cannot believe I spilled my coffee. Like, that's so embarrassing. So, I got three things. Target is in their big bag. Okay, I'm gonna try these on. Let me know what y'all think. This tape is so comfy. I still would need, I don't need nipple covers uh, because it's sheer, but because my nipples just be poking. I really like this tape. I think I'm gonna get this. I'm unfortunately gonna have to wear something underneath. But this fits so good. It's really getting skims. I'll link everything I'm about to try on down below, by the way. The girls sit up good though. It does come with like a inner bra but it's still if you have nipples like me <laughs> most people think you're trying to give inappropriate but you're really not but it's not see-through so that's good these are comfortable i want to go see if they have a black one too oh this is cute okay some nice deodorants think is all over it but super cozy it's so nice. High neck. Nice and comfortable. It has this like living right here. The thing I like is this can be dressed down with some sandals, but it also can be dressed up with some heels. I'm for sure gonna get this. Skim too? No, just kidding. Skim still eats. Don't don't get it twisted, but this this eats too. Anything else? Um, no, that'll be it. All right, your total is going to be 622 at the window. Thank you. Good morning. Why do I feel like you guys are a little dusty, a little dirty? There we go. So today is Wednesday. Um, I worked yesterday, so y'all already know how that goes when I work. But, um, yeah, I have today and tomorrow off. I think I might end the vlog tonight. Or I might end it tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to have to see how much footage I have. Um, and that will determine what I do. But, yeah, I really need to bounce back from last week. Because last week's vlog was like 45 minutes, I think. Or an hour. But, y'all, okay, like, can I, can I be transparent for a moment? <laughs> Just for a quick moment. I, like, I love y'all. And I love the fact that, like, I love my job. I love being a YouTuber. I love doing content creation. Like, I really do enjoy it. Um, but because I have not stopped working as a PA yet, and I don't think I ever plan to stop fully, but, like, since I have not cut back on my time, I'm still full-time, um... You know, it started to become a lot just with like life events and traveling. I will say going into quarter four, I am sitting down a lot more. Um, there will not be, there will be some opportunities and some trips and stuff, but not as much as I was doing this summer. Sorry, it's so dark right here. Just please. With that being said, I love putting out the two hour vlogs. I feel like y'all really get to know me y'all really get to see you know the moments that make me me um and like you guys thoroughly enjoy it like the girlies really be like please keep doing the long vlogs you know like i can always tell when somebody's new because they'll be like two like they'll comment like two hours and then like three weeks later they're like oh sis we want more like yeah i know <laughs> anyway i say all this to say like i'm starting to feel as though should i cut it back uh, and like I don't really want to but I'm like 45 minutes to an hour is a lot easier for me but I don't want to skimp out on my YouTube like my YouTube is my baby my YouTube is my brand uh, this is my business I love it and so I don't know like let me know what you guys think in the comments editing an hour-long vlog is so much easier um, than a two hour long vlog however i do feel like i get so much more engagement on my super long vlogs and i want that engagement i basically just want to say like if there's some weeks that my vlogs are only like an hour like please bear with me like i'm really trying 
and you guys are probably thinking like why don't you just hire an editor because like I didn't get into this for that I I, I don't my content is very personable to me I like having a hundred percent creative di uh, creative control also like there's just some really intimate moments that are caught on camera that like I get to be the determining factor like do I want to share this do I not and I don't want to leave that up to somebody else and if I'm being honest, like, these editors are charging an arm and a leg, as they should, because this is not easy, as you guys see, like, this is not an easy job. And to be completely honest, I do not know how I am a full-time PA, a full-time content creator, um, on multiple platforms, and my own editor. Like, I have no idea. Uh, it is God and God only that allows me to be able to do this. But anyway, the long rant, just to say... I don't want to become just a 45 minute to hour long vlogger. I really don't. But if that happens sometimes, like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all probably thinking, sis, it's not that serious. Just post what you want to post. Like, we're going to watch regardless. And I love y'all. I love the girlies that are on that wavelength because period. Like, I love that y'all let me do what I want. Uh, because, like, I'm going to show up for y'all. And y'all know that. But for the girls that are, like, kind of about it like please be kind be respectful but like let me know in the comments what you think um it really helps me because at the end of the day like even though I love doing this and like it's a form of therapy and a form of like self-expression it is my job that's it that's all but anyway so today's agenda um it is a little bit after one and I got up this morning I had to make a lot of calls I got my Nespresso set up I had to order a part that's missing from it that I lost uh what else I had to order my gas the y'all have just been looking at a bright ass screen I'm so sorry I had to also what else I had to also um have the people for the gas come out they're gonna come out tomorrow to turn on my gas so I can actually cook and I don't have to wait in this long ass Starbucks line just to get a breakfast sandwich I answered a couple emails I took a couple phone calls and yeah that's been my day so far so today we're gonna go to the gym because y'all I feel like I'm getting tubby like please be nice I need to I need to get my ish together and just in general like I feel most like myself when I'm in the gym and I'm really on my consistent ish so we're getting back to that so we're going to the gym and then I need to stop at the store really quickly um, I'm gonna come home shower have lunch I meal prep already so that's nice and then I'm going to, oh shoot, I thought I had funds on here. And then I'm going to um, go edit. And I really want to try a new coffee shop that I haven't been to before. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Hello. Hi, how are you? Uh, no, I'm okay. Thanks. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Y'all, I am back from the gym and I got a nice, lovely package from Saltaire. I already busted it open. I already busted it open, y'all. I'm obsessed with these products so far. I just tried them actually earlier this vlog. Um, so the, what I tried was the Santal Bloom body wash. I also got this uh, body wash in the exotic pulp scent, but I have not actually used that one yet. This, y'all, this smells so freaking good. Um, it is found at Target. It is only sold on the Saltaire website and Target. Those are the only two places that you can find it, I believe. Uh, but yeah, so I picked up the body wash in Target. They didn't have anything else besides like the hair products. And I was like, I want more like body care. Like I heard the oils are really good, whatever. So I went on their, web their website, as y'all remember earlier in this vlog. And baby, I bought the lotion. The lotion smells so good and it's like actually really hydrating um, and it comes as 14 fluid ounces. The body wash is 17 fluid ounces. So this is how they measure up to each other. 
Um, and then I got the oil, baby. The Santal Bloom Nourishing Body Oil. It is four fluid ounces. And on the site, I was like, four? But baby, it's actually a lot of oil. Like, it's a, it's a good amount. And the packaging is stunning. So I'll tell her, listen, if there's somebody that's your biggest fan, it's me. It's she. So I got that. I also got the um, Exotic Cult Nourishing Body Oil to mash, match with the um, body wash. This smells like summer, coconut, the tropics. This smells like the tropics. This smells like Barbados in a bottle. Like, it's so good. It's so good. Chef's kiss. They also have travel sizes, y'all. I didn't get to order the travel size because they were sold out at the time of some of the scents that I wanted to get. But best believe when they come back in stock, I'm going to be first in line on the website. Mind y'all, these things are not priced crazy. Like, there's some, some, you know, comparing brands that I'm like, y'all are really smoking work charging for less fluid ounces than this for double the price. I'm not, I'm not going for it. This oil is actually tea. Like, so I tried the oil right when I opened the box and I was just like, let me just try it out, baby. Nourishing. Smells so good. Like one thing I can't stand is when like body oil will have a fragrance, but the fragrance is very like barely there like for some things that's kind of good because you want a different type of scent on your body but like this just imagine you have the body wash the oil and then you seal it in with the lotion or lotion and oil whichever you know right y'all want to go like it smells so good this scent mm, it's indescribable if you know Santal scent like it's like musky it gives fall like this scent you heard it here first. This is the scent for fall. I need to post this on TikTok because the girl is taking my ideas and running to TikTok with it and acting like it's their ideas. And I don't like that. But I'm going to let it pass for now. I'm going to let it slide. For now. <laughs> I can't wait to get this one in the travel size. I'm taking this on my next vacation. And um, speaking of vacation, y'all, I don't know if I said this in this vlog. I believe I did. I was supposed to have to take a vacation in like two weeks and I canceled and I'm just like, you know what? That's what it's, it's grind season. It's stacking season. It's just, let's lock in and see what we can really do for quarter four, like October through December. And then I'm going to, uh, you know, treat myself to a nice vacation for the new year. So that will be exciting. Between now and then, I do have a couple like mini trips. Like I have a wedding to go to. I'm going back home um, in October to get my hair done. Um, we also have something fun going on here in October that I'm hosting. We'll talk about that later. But um, yeah. Anyways, back to the haul. I also picked up this KP Body Smoother 5% Glycolic Acid Body Scrub. So it says... 5% glycolic acid, volcanic sand, and microcrystalline cellulose smooths, bumps, and textured skin while a nourishing blend of kukui, coconut, and macadamia oils hydrate and moisturize. It looks like this. Um, I'm going to assume KP stands for keratosis polaris, which is like those little fine bumps on people's skin. Um, yeah, and like this is dope because like on the back, like they show all the ingredients and like what each ingredient does. So it says 5% glycolic acid. It's a chemical AHA exfoliant sloughs away dead surface, sloughs away dead surface skin, volcanic acid, microcrystalline cellulose and pumice, physical exfoliants, buff away rough patches and reveal brighter, more radiant looking skin. Kukui, nut oil, coconut oil, and macadamia seed oil nourish and moisturize. Niacinamide and licorice extract brighten the look of uneven, uneven tone and dark spots. This looks, this sounds like it's going to be good. I want to smell it. It's sealed. This is a first impression, y'all, because I have not smelled this or used it. Okay, I can already feel the grit. This is what it looks like. I can't really smell it right now. But I'm going to try this out in the shower sometime this vlog and I'll let y'all know. 10 fluid ounces in here. So yeah, I'm really, 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 really excited for this. Like, so dope. Their packaging is everything. Like, 
Ooh, I'm excited. So that's what I just got. I just got home. I'm about to warm my meal prep up for lunch. This is a late ass lunch, but better late than never is what I like to say. So, I am going to warm. I have this Tex-Mex stuffed sweet potato by Chef Maricela. It is 410 calories, 27 grams of protein, 29 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fat. And I love her meals. If you've been rocking with me for a minute, then you know how I've been rocking with Chef Marcella for over a year. I started buying her meals right when I moved to Texas. And yeah, I still do. <laughs> they look like, it looks like this. It has not been heated up. Oof, already knows about to bust. And it comes with like her own like homemade sauce. So I'm gonna set this here and microwave this. And then I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like when it's microwaved. See the steam on this one. Oh my god, the smell it smells divine. Divine. I got a plastic fork. And yes, I do be using plastic forks. Just somebody else, not me. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. So I'm just taking out. Or I'm just stirring up the sweet potato in here. Like breaking it off from the peel or whatever the hell, the skin. <laughs> oh, this is about to taste so good, I already know. Yes, ma'am. Let me just, yeah, no, it's warm. I was about to say, let me taste it. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. She never misses, y'all. Let me try this. Mm hmm. Yes, ma'am. Like, wow. Such a healthy meal, such a good meal idea. Like, that's what I love about getting her meals. It's like, it be recipes that you don't even think about making. Like the stuff that she puts together. It's like, girl, how did you come up with that? And it slaps every time. And the flavor be there, especially when she makes her own little sauce. Mm. Yeah, mouth is watering very much so. Very much so. All right, y'all, I'm gonna devour this. And I will see y'all after my shower. How about them apples? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Whew. So, I just finished up a bomb ass workout. I did a little bit of cardio back and triceps today. I like didn't realize how much I was neglecting my upper body um, for the last couple months until recently. And I might be just like picking myself apart. I don't know. But like y'all lately I've been feeling just like not, 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 not fit. Like skinny slim is even the word. I just haven't been feeling fit, like, like succinct, like, you know? Um, but like, it's frustrating because like genetically, like I have a strong build or a strong build, but like, 
so like I don't want to like overwork out my upper body you know type shit because I already feel like I look strong as hell anyway but then at the same time if I don't it ends up just being fat and like I don't want that either so eh, it's kind of you know annoying but anyway here we are so I am on the way home um, I'm getting home a lot later than I wanted to today uh, but it's fine so today we are we already like this morning what did I do this morning I didn't record when I'm not really doing much but just like working from my um, you know couch or whatever I'm not gonna record that that's what I did I finished up the last vlog and there's absolutely no reason that this traffic should even exist right here but that's the only way that I'm gonna get home so I'm gonna just suck it up anyway um what was I saying yeah so I, I finished up my last vlog I already got it exported and uploaded uh, so that's good like I'm really on the ball today I already edited my little uh, snippets of the vlog to post as an Instagram story so the girlies have something to refer to when I post the link um, I think the video is gonna go live tonight not even I think I want it to go to go live tonight around like 7 30 p so that'll be good uh what else what else what else what else I had a couple calls I had to get done I had a student loan meeting this morning and it's just really absurd the amount of money <sighs> I'm grateful to God that you know I got my degree and I am a physician assistant but like really school if <laughs> this is what I'll say and this might be an unpopular opinion and I really don't care um, I feel as though the idea of school is not a scam but I just think school systems here in America is a scam because you really have to pay to be educated which I know that probably sounds stupid, but hear me out, like there are so many other countries, even third world countries, where um, your country pays for you to go to school. And it's just like, I don't know, I just feel like America is just a scam. <laughs> I'm very grateful. Don't get me wrong. I'm very grateful to be here. I'm an immigrant. If you know my story, then you know. Like, I am very grateful for what America has afforded myself and my family. But I just don't agree with certain things. Like, how expensive schooling is. And God forbid you want to do post postgrad school. Like, thankfully, I went full ride on a scholarship for undergrad. But, like, just to get my PA degree alone, almost in the six figures of student loans. So, it's like, basically, the way that life is, is if you are not born into, and I'm sorry for the light fluctuation, fluctuations, y'all, this camera, I, I feel like I talk about it every vlog. Anyway, uh... I'm ranting. All I wanted to basically just say is like, it's just a shame how much money people have to go in debt just to come out on the other side making not even, you know, on average, on average, this is like lawyers, doctors, engineers across the board, like not even a quarter of a million dollars. I feel like it's a huge setup. It's a huge scam. Um, now, if you have deep passion for, you know, these career paths, and it's not just about the money, or it's not about the money at all, then by all means, I hear you. But the, the sad truth is 90% of the time, that is not the case. 90% of the time, especially when you have these immigrants, it's about being financially stable. And, you know, 
once upon a time, a salary of 100K, 150K, that would really, you would be well off. You would, like, people would consider you well off. Baby, now, 100K is like the bare minimum because of how expensive life is. And it's starting to really piss me off. Like, I was on the meeting with the guy for my student loans and he asked me what my rent was. And even just saying my rent price out loud, I was embarrassed because it's just like, I, if I can find it, I'm gonna put a screenshot of this reel that I saw two days ago. Um, and it was basically just comparing the housing market from 20 set, oh, 2017? No, no, sorry, 2019 to 2023 and the difference. And like these are, these could be, could be inaccurate, could not be, I don't know. I'm gonna just throw out some general statements um, that I can like kind of remember off the top of my head. It was like the average house back in 2019 was like $200,000 or something like that. And the average house of today is like $450,000. And so in order to qualify for, to buy a home now, uh, sorry, then you would have to, in your household, combined whatever, have to have some income of somewhere around 100, oh sorry, 60K, to be able to afford a house back then. Now, in order to afford a house, you have to have a salary of $116,000, I think it was, or let's just say 100K, a little over 100K. And that is without any debt. Without any debt, y'all. <laughs> I just, and that's all I'm gonna say. Life is so expensive. I mean, sometimes I look at my credit card statements and I'm like, what am I pissing my money away on? And yes, before anybody wants to leave a smart ass comment in the comment, well, you take all these trips and you buy all these things, lunch. like be for real, like I, if I'm being completely transparent because it is my business, majority of the things that you guys see, miscellaneous things, trips, whatever that I, I pay for is with my YouTube money, with, that, with my business money. Like I'm going based off of my salary as a hardworking, physician assistant life is expensive like I am so grateful to God that he awarded me the, the opportunity to have a business you know with a career online and uh, you know YouTube and whatnot but like if I didn't I, I don't I really don't know I would truly for the next 10 years minimum would be in captive. I, I, I'd be held captive unless some man sweep me off my feet like a damsel in distress and decided to award me my life, uh, you know, bills and all that. But then it's like, at what cost? Because, you know, the men of my daddy's time, hell, even, even the men of five years ahead of me are not like the men of this generation. The, the men of this generation, they're either tricking because they trick on multiple women at a time, you get what I'm saying? Or they are stingy as hell because they feel like they're getting played. And so it, it, it's like, there's no, there's no men anymore that are like, I want to provide for me and my me and my woman you know what I'm saying and like and I'm not expecting that because I already know that the bar is in hell at, at this point I don't even know how we got here but I'm saying all this to say y'all life is so expensive it's so expensive and it's really starting to work my nerves because I just don't understand where is our money going to why is you know, once upon a time, the things that we used to complain about being expensive, gas, you know, um, like, 
things that it's like okay you need gas to be able to commute you know and like that made sense that was a nationwide crisis but like nowadays why are eggs seven dollars in the supermarket why why is everywhere that i go you cannot you yourself i'm not talking about valet you yourself cannot park your own vehicle without coming up out of at least twenty dollars that is a crime it's criminal but like it, uh, jail jail time is what y'all need because i'm tired of being robbed i'm tired of being robbed just to simply exist like it makes people not want to leave their house anymore Hell, I'm already paying arm the leg for rent. I might as well sit here. I, I look a little different, huh? I got ready. Y'all, I have never gotten ready this fast in my life. I literally got ready in like 25, 30 minutes. And I mean, hair, concealer, blush, fit, fragrance, everything. Like, if y'all would have seen this hair 30 minutes ago, it looked like who did it and why. Um, but we pulled it together, babes let me put y'all on um i used to always be a straight er, straight straightener curl girl and then sky every time she does my hair she uses um a curling iron and i was like you know what let me try to get into this i'm so happy i got into it because they it just gives effortless victoria's secret bombshell curls um which is always the vibe you know but um, anyhow, I am on the way to go meet a Jazzy. I don't know if Libby's coming, um, but we're gonna go meet for sushi. I'm excited because it's we're going to. Um, I think it's like Blue Saki. I think that's what it's called, but it's it's over in the Heights MKT area. Uh, if you have kept kept up with my vlogs, I think I went there in my second uh romanticize my life video speaking of i need to pick that series back up uh you know i've had a lot going on with traveling and moving and stuff but like i'm really finna pick that series back up anyhow um so yeah i'm on my way to go meet her and i'm super excited to eat we're going to happy hour so i'm gonna have a couple cocktails chat it up with my girl or girls i don't know if lip's gonna be there hopefully she is i haven't seen her in a minute either uh, but yeah, so I'm excited. The hair is hairing. Hold on, y'all. And I'm gonna show you. It probably won't be in this vlog if I'm being honest because it's the last day of this vlog. <laughs> so sorry. But um, in one of these upcoming vlogs, I'm gonna show y'all uh, like a fast way to curl your hair if you're like pressed for time and you just want it to still look presentable. Gagged is. I was not even supposed to wear my hair down. I was going to wear it in a claw clip. I just wanted to throw a couple curls in it just to give it some like life when it's in the claw clip. Because I feel like when you have long hair in a claw clip, if your hair is just bone straight, it just gives blah. But you need a little body, a little bounce to it, right? So I was like, let me just throw a couple curls in. Start throwing a couple curls in and the hair actually started looking good down. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll keep it down and yeah so here we are um y'all the the unit if y'all could see <laughs> the good thing is usually i wear my hair down anyway but if y'all could see the the lift of the unit in the back like not i don't know how to explain basically if i pull up like the whole unit is moving because my hair has grown out y'all mind you it's only been either five or six weeks i think but my hair it just grows like a weed like it's really crazy and so anyway um i am gonna get this out in like three weeks and then i'm going to um probably get it back in i think i'm going to get the wig itself tightened one of my my mom's friends that used to do my hair i don't put so many girls from columbus onto her, her name's Re miss rejoice i'm gonna go to her because i know she be constructing wigs and stuff and i want her to tighten this wig because um the lady that made this wig she did a good job of making it but it's just huge and like i remember when sky was telling me 
she was like, oh yeah, I just sent her the hair she'll make it. I'm like, does she need measurements in my head? She's like, no, she never, um, she never makes measurements in my head. Yeah, well, I fell for it and now I feel goofy because um, the wig is huge. And I mean, she did a good job, but, but like, it's only going to fit directly to your head when it's fresh, like when when you're when she sews it fresh down. But like after a few weeks, especially if your hair grows like a weed like mine, it'll start to get loose, like the base, you know. But it still looks good. That's all that matters. Anyway, dang, I gotta turn left right here. This person, I don't know if y'all just saw that car zoom behind me, like that. Like, girl, let's go, let's go, y'all. Oh, I'm so excited for this sushi. And I'm excited to see Jazzy. Like, I haven't seen her in a minute. That is my girl. It's some girl time. Anyway, y'all, when I get there, I will hit y'all up. Because we finna pull up right now. Right now. <laughs> I look nuts. I just blew out my hair. Y'all, I just realized I have not blown out my hair since I got the U part. And y'all know, if you've been rocking with me for a minute, you know I love my good blowout. So, but this is the first time that I've done it since I got the U part. And I already like tested. Okay, whatever. I'm going to just do it. Even though I just put this back up. Look at how good these front pieces. You're lying. What? What? Like, this is too good. This is too good. Just imagine all the hair down, like. <laughs> So anyway, let me put this back up so it could be set for work in the morning. So y'all, um, I'm sorry I didn't record at Sushi with the Jazzy because we got into some real conversation and like it's just, it's just not, I would rather not invade people's privacy i look crazy <laughs> but yeah i would rather just not invade people's privacy and it was just we had a good talk we ate sushi ate appetizers went and got ice cream we talked for like i don't know four or five hours like it was it was a great time we we needed that girl time but here we are and i think that it's time to close up the vlog ah! I hate this. I hate this for y'all. <laughs> I hate this for me because I have separation anxiety from y'all. But it's okay because we're going to pick up the camera right back up after this. So it's fine. I am so excited to get in my bed and get in them Brooklyn and cheap. Yeah, y'all. When I tell you, best sleep of my life. Oh my God. I cannot wait to get my big, big bed and then get another set of Brooklyn and sheets. Like, I'm excited. If you're interested in anything from Brooklyn and don't forget to use the code the Desi Ray Way for $20 off any purchase over $100. If you have made it this far in the video, please, please, please give your girl a big thumbs up. Let me know your favorite part of the video. Let me know some ideas for the new place, some, you know, interior design, inspo, um comment them down below okay and last but not least if you are not part of the gang what are you doing sis hit that subscribe button and join the gang we are a big family over here and we would love to have you and i think that's gonna conclude this video thank you guys so much for watching i really think that i'm gonna make this this one should be about two hours so we're gonna bounce back we're gonna bounce back i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next one yeah. You say you really wanna see it. You only two miles away. All I 
see his face, I'm reading Guess you don't got time today That's okay, that's cool. We don't have to talk about 